Uh. <laughs> Upcycle showdown. <laughs> Me versus Kim. I took this old table and tried to breathe some new life into it. Kim took an old sign and tried to uh, make it something new and made it into it a tray. New. Oh, that's right. It's a big old tray. And we'll show you how we did them right now. What is up? Welcome back. This week, we're down to scraps. We're scrapping it. <laughs> Not exactly, but I did find some things that I could uh, repurpose. Remember this from Christmas time? Do you also remember that it's missing a number? So. A number, quick, what number? Six. Number six. <laughs> So I thought I could repurpose this board and do something new with it. And I had these leftover one by two frames from another project that went awry that I thought I could use as a frame for this board. Mm, repurposed. <laughs> and I am going to repurpose this table. It just sits in the corner of our craft room over there with like bills and things I don't want to deal with. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> And it's all, it's got, I don't know, it's got some stains, it's pretty beat up on the front of it, I don't know if you can see from there. Well, you can see where a Allen wrench was sitting there for like a hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to paint it and paint it and throw some decorative something on top. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. He's got yeah. some ideas. It's going to look pretty cool. They're going to kind of go together. Mine's a tray, his is a table. It's kind of a versus challenge. Oh, it's a versus challenge. <laughs> My project, his project. All right, we'll have to see who made the better scrap. What are we doing here? Repurpose. Repurpose. Upcycle. Who upcycled the bestest? <laughs> project one, step one. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I do. Ambidextrous. We're going to get all this stuff off this board. This was like heat transfer vinyl. I don't know if it'll come off. I don't know if it'll come off, but guess what? It has a backside, so I can always turn oh. it over if I need to. Yeah, it comes right off. All right, here, do you want this? Oh, I can't use the side. It's got a whole bunch of holes in oh, it. Oh, it's got a bunch of holes in it. All right, I still want to take the stuff off, though. All right, step one, we paint the board. That's right, sand the back of this thing because it looks a little rough. And give mm. her a paint. Step one, give her a sand. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Step one. Sand, sand it out. It. Sand it out. Project one. Step two. Now we paint. <laughs> Very good. That was first tea. <laughs> first tea. Step three. Now we're gonna lay down this big old stencil. We recently purchased a large format stencil cutter. So I'm able to create these 24 inch stencils now. You may have noticed in our store we have 60 inch stencils for welcome to our home now. That's because we have the new cutter over there. So let's see how this works. I'm excited, one full stencil. Yeah, let's flip it. So what I'm thinking about doing, or what I've decided I'm going to do, is I'm going to do the damask print in this chalked up paint royal. It's like a navy blue, but it's not navy, it's royal. Royal. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to do the center in this folk art home decor paint in Glacier, which is a light blue. So dark blue on the outside, light blue on the inside. Sounds really chill. Did we get it all? I don't know. I can't even tell. I'm cross-eyed at this point. 
so here's what I learned with the stencil. It works great. It cut well. It had all the detailed cuts. It went on beautifully. It just was a little pain to peel off. It didn't come off in one solid piece. Um, so it was a little bit I think challenging that's to it weed. Was so intricate. Yes. But it, it turned out great. It kind of got into the green a little bit. But that's okay because I'm going to sand this and I want this damask look to be real faded. So this is in kind of a dark navy blue. I want to fade it out. Okay, you probably can't see. I'm going to hold it there for just a second so that you can see that, hopefully see, that I have sanded it quite a bit. Try to really make it distressed looking. I love the way it looks so far. I'm so excited. All right, now what I was thinking is that I'm going to put a monogram in the center of my frame here with our last initial. Step four, now we're gonna throw a frame on this. We have these little one by twos that we salvaged from some older project. And my pocket saw. <laughs> I already measured them out, this is a 24 inch board. Where's your mask, you want my mask? <laughs> your mask is in paint. Just gonna hit it with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Step five. And now we're gonna give this tray some handles so you can actually carry it. Cycle number one. Project number two. We're gonna upcycle this table. We're just gonna paint the legs this navy color from Chopped Up. Yep, it's actually navy. I'm gonna paint the top this white chalk paint. Step two of project two, we gotta add the design on the top. Gotta get some racing stripes, make it look fast. Just using some more chalk paint, the same paint that I used on the legs. I'm trying to get a little bit out of the jar to do the stripes. Oh jeez, I forgot, we're so slow. Yeah, it's slow. Good. Bam! Racing stripes. <laughs> this thing's looking fast already. Fast. Look at that. He's zipping down the road. Step three of project two. We're gonna add our design. Moment of truth. We're gonna use this Mod Podge image transfer. And then I use these Avery labels. I pulled all the labels off. And then I printed with my inkjet printer on the shiny side where the labels were and we're going to see if it works. We're going to lay down the Mod Podge, thin, thin layer, then we're going to try to put our image down. <laughs> Ready. Remember, when it's down, it's down. When it's down, it's down. You can't move it, you can't touch it. It's like wet ink. You just got to, just got to go in and let it be. Let it be, let it, let it be. Uh, right there. Uh, yeah. Alright, I think it's it. 
Should I do it quick or slow? I mean, not a, a slow. It's pretty good. Now just distress it. It'll be okay. All right, most of it came off the page. That's what we got so far. It's a little smudgy. Smudgy. It's all right. I'll give Take it a, a quick little distress. All right. That's what we got. That's okay. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. I wanted the transfer to be a little better. Eh, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Alright, that's what we got. Who do you guys think won this showdown? Uh, I'm going to vote for Kim. No, like your table my, looks great. I don't like how my transfer came out. Hers <laughs> looks awesome. What do you guys think? Have you guys done any upcycling, recycling, repurposing? <laughs> <laughs> Show us what you got. Show us what you've done. You've been locked up. I'm sure you've done something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Show us what you got. Give us a comment. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. Hit that like button. Give us a share. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. And until next week, uh, watch one of these videos over here. It'll keep you entertained for at least 12 minutes or so. <laughs>